What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Temple of the Dog. Yes, indeed! Temple of the Dog fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Sork Family. Sork Family wanted to see me react to this song by Temple of the Dog called Times of Trouble. Now, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard this song before, as far as I know. It, it does not resonate with me in any way. However, there's always a chance I may have heard the song and I just don't know it. So, as always, if I start listening to the song and I go, Oh, wait a second, I recognize this song, I'll let you know. That's the truth! You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by Enrico Gentiletti. And the video has 839,841 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Temple of the Dog, Times of Trouble with lyrics. Right. Yeah, we we know how these lyric videos go, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're there, usually they're not. So, doesn't matter. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> I'm digging this already. I love that scoop he's putting it. Ah, 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 that little, ah, yeah, that's nice. It's like not a semitone. It's like a half or maybe even a quarter of an actual semitone. Just enough of a scoop to be noticeable. That's so slick. I love that. That is fantastic. The vocals in this are like borderline haunting. I love it. I absolutely love this. So far. So far. Now, now, we're only a minute and 12 in. We still got another four and a half to go. A lot could happen, but so far, so good. I'm digging this. Let's keep going. And you
just looked at the time i almost let two minutes go by oh god what's wrong with me i i know what's wrong with me i'm getting lost in this song i really am like i'm getting lost in this uh now who can argue with that i'm digging this song man i really am um the instrumentation with that piano and, and the on the softer part with those accent notes really nice touch um i like the i like the shift from the verse to the chorus. Uh, I like in the chorus how everything comes up. Uh, the energy in the guitar comes up. Energy in the drums comes up. Not a lot, but slightly. Just enough to make a difference. And the biggest difference is the vocal delivery from Chris Cornell. Um, in the verses, he's a lot more subdued. Still well supported. Um but a little softer delivery, a little more mellow delivery. When it goes into the chorus, he continues to support, but he gets more to a projection mode where he's really kind of projecting, a little harsher in the vocal, um, a little more power in the vocal. And I'm I'm digging that I'm digging that contrast. It's fantastic. Now this is this is a great song. Great. I am absolutely digging this. I'm digging all the modes, I mean, not the modes, I'm digging, I'm digging the feel changes. Um, the, like I said, the instrumentation on this, really well done. Chordally, it's very pleasing to the ear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely digging this. Let, let's keep going. back to the beginning of that no no i don't care hey listen it's my show okay look if i want to go back i am gonna go back you can play that pig nose all you want i don't care we're gonna go back to the beginning of that mouth harp and we're gonna hear what that harmonica player can do yes indeed that was not expected but fit like a glove wow <laughs> I was not ready for that harmonica to come in there. I was not expecting that, but that was a nice touch. Let's hear what this harmonica player can do.
I feel like it's building. I feel like it's building up to something. Uh, are we going to have like an epic ending? Or are we going to get one, up to one of those apexes where it just, it peaks and then it just bottoms out? Which one are we, which one's it going to be? It's going to be one of those two things, I have a feeling. I don't know which one, but let's listen to this build up again. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was gonna be one of those two things. Yeah. Yeah. This was this was great. I loved this. This was fantastic. Well, there you go, folks. That was Temple of the Dog with Times of Trouble. This was a request from Sorg Family. All right. I'm going to blow some minds here. I am going to shock some people. On a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 9.1. Yep. 9.1. I feel great with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? This song came down to a number of things. There were a lot of things in here that were really good. A lot of things in here that were great. Um, and a couple of things that blew my mind. Okay, let's start with... Okay, first of all, I have no complaints about this song. Not one. Okay, let me just start off the bat with that. I have zero complaints with this song. Um, the arrangement of this song was great. Uh, how they were taking the levels up and down and up and down. I mean, it started out with kind of a subdued feel, coming up, back down to that subdued feel, coming up for the chorus, um, staying up for the harmonica solo, which I was not expecting, and that's one of the mind blows. I was not expecting that harmonica. It came out of nowhere, and it was really well done. And then, like I said, in the formation of the song, I, I, I predicted at the end it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to have a huge ending, or it's going to come up to an apex, and it's going to completely drop out. And sure enough, I predicted right. But it was really well done. It went even farther than I thought it was going to go. I thought you would still have, you know, more instruments than there were. It literally came down to just, you know, Chris and... Um, the ending, uh, just, just, just a little bit, just a chord being played, bloom, and that was it. Very <laughs> overdone, but in a good way. Um, the, the tones that the guitars were getting, piano was getting, uh, the mix in the drums, fantastic, very fitting of the song. Not one thing didn't fit. Everything done with the tone and in the mix fit the context of this song perfectly i mean i could not have asked for better guitar tones uh almost having that bluesy almost steel guitar sound in places very fitting very fitting of this style of song um lastly and this is one of the one of the mind blows happened also not just the harmonica but chris cornell's vocals now this should not have been a mind blow but i loved the feels and not so much the range i i expect him to get up there and be powerful and get strong and i i expect that from him okay what i was not expecting was the soft subdued parts where he would get that little that little scoop da, 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 ah, that little that little half semitone scoop or quarter semitone scoop that was so clean so clean it was so appropriate and it really added i know this is going to sound stupid to a lot of people but that little itty bitty thing that he did several times through the entire song really helped add 
to the overall feeling of the song. Just that one little touch. And I guarantee you, that one little touch is what I'm gonna remember most about this song, was that. Um, that that's gonna be stuck in my head. Right there with that do 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 from Black, and just, it's gonna be stuck in my head for months. Yeah, that's still stuck in my head, by the way. Thanks, Pearl Jam fans. It's still here. I can't get it out. I'm gonna need a lobotomy or something to get it out. That's the but, truth. I mean, overall, I was very impressed with the song. Did the song blow my mind? It kinda did. It, it did slightly, which is why it's getting the 9.1. This was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, this will be going on my playlist for driving, for sure. Uh, driving around town and driving to Vegas. Jim, no, uh, no, too mellow for the gym. But this was a fun song to listen to, and I would absolutely listen to this again in a heartbeat. So, 9.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, Feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.